Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. I pray everybody is well. You won't believe the difficulties I've had with making this video. You wouldn't believe it if, if I told you. Clearly, it's going to be a powerful video. Today's video is going to be on T.D. Jakes. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very traumatic thing uh, hit the headlines yesterday. It was of Mr. Jakes, what seemed to be having a stroke during a sermon. In the midst of his sermon, this man started twitching. You'll see it on the clip we're about to show if you haven't already seen it. Uh, his hands started glitching. He started doing this with the mic. It was bad. It was bad, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we've showed Mr. Jakes on here a couple different times. Him at the Diddy parties. Uh, uh, d different things that, uh, you know, Mr. Jakes may have been involved in. We showed a young man talking about um, a lawsuit that he's placed against him. Different things, you know, allegations. Now, here's the thing. If these things happen to be true, could this be the Lord humbling him? If he, I, I, you listen, I pray Mr. Jakes makes it out of whatever this is and, and comes out with a, with a, a new heart for repentance. Hallelujah. Nobody, you never want to wish damnation on anyone. At the end of the day, he's a human being. At the end of the day, he's a human being, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, even at the end of my videos that I've, I've made about him in the past, I, 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 you know, we went into praying that he comes into a state of wanting to repent. Hallelujah. Do I believe that somebody like this operates completely um, without love for the Lord? I don't. I don't. Do I believe there's a lot of mixture? For sure. For sure. For sure. There's people in this congregation that go to his church and just go back to living in the world the way they want to live. P. Diddy, for example. Lord have mercy. He was front row. Oprah. I think this is Oprah's bishop. We know the kind of nonsense she's on. We know what kind of nonsense she's on. So, you know, I just don't understand how you can be headship for different individuals and their life does not reflect God. Must be no, there must be no conviction in the sermons. Just something that makes you feel good for the moment. Your flesh feels good like, yeah, I love this message. Yeah, I love this message. But there's no conviction like, I need to change my life. There's a difference. There's a difference, brothers and sisters. Whether you know it or not, there's a difference. I'm telling you there's a difference. Hallelujah. But let's play this clip real quick. This is We're going we're gonna to play a little bit before he um, went into this stage of being still what it looked like was he was trapped in his own body trying to release himself that's what it looked like it looked like he was trapped trying to get out like he didn't know what the heck was going on but check it out ever, ever gone to a hospital to visit somebody and you thought you was going to encourage them and they encourage you that's what preaching is like you think you're giving out something but you're getting back more than you gave Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer, let them go in peace. So clearly, something happened that wasn't supposed to happen at the Potter's house. Um, they broke live. And honestly, man, it, it, it was traumatic. Um, here's what I'll say, you know, because T.D. Jakes considers himself a bishop, clearly. Bishop T.D. Jakes, right? 
if the allegations happen to be true that are said against Mr. Jakes, he should have stepped down. You know, um, I don't know if he considered giving his church to his daughter stepping down, but he should have stepped down. And if the allegations are true, when it comes to older men saying that, you know, they were touched when they were younger, he needs to turn himself in. Or make things right with that family in some kind of way where they feel, where they feel justified. Period. That's what needs to happen. Um, and, I, I, you know, I, I pray he comes out of this well, you know. I don't, I don't I don't wish death or damnation on anyone. Anyone. You don't want that, guys. You don't want to wish that on anyone. You know, you want to have mercy on people so God can have mercy with you. You go too hard on people. When that time comes, when something happens with you, you're going to wish people well, you you're going to want people to go easy on you or have mercy on you. You know, I see a lot of different comments and a lot of different things where people just like wish damnation on people and it's just, I just be like, "Where's your soul at?" Where's your soul at? You know how much of a merciful God we serve? How aren't you merciful? How do you not have mercy? Where's your soul at? Who's really operating out of you and through you? For you to want to throw stones. Now listen, we may put things on a, on a public uh, platform um, for people to see because a lot of different times people are caught up in delusion or caught up in lies when it comes to individuals that may be public figures. But that does not mean we wish harm on anyone. Never, 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 never. A lot of times I'll talk in hopes that we come together as a, a body, as brothers and sisters in Christ, and come into agreement on prayer for these different individuals that I'm speaking about. That's my hopes. Hallelujah. May we come out of this place of wanting to just throw a stone as soon as we see somebody messing up. However, I do believe um, this individual should have stepped down. You know, it doesn't matter if you call yourself a bishop or not. Even bishops need to step down when they step, it, step back into sin. It's in the apostolic constitution. Anyone who is in a place of leadership, this man is behind the pulpit. If what's said is true, he should have been stepped down, repented. You get to the point where the Lord needs to humble you, boy, oh boy. May the Lord have mercy on your soul. Dangerous, guys. Dangerous. I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the video. And on the comments, God bless. Shalom.